A smartwatch for £6.20 or $9. Is it worth it? Let's take a look. What do we get? One user manual, one USB cable, and one da -da, watch. It seems quite decent, clean, nice rubber band, fairly solid, relatively metallic looking face. Doesn't actually look as cheap as you'd expect. Touch screen moves swiftly. Again, I expected a less sensitive touch screen. You can access volume there, the Bluetooth for the devices and the menus inside. On the side, you've got a speaker, the USB port and a microphone. And on the flip, the on and off, turning it on. Will it be annoying? Yeah, but potentially I won't be turning it on and off that often. I won't be that bothered about that because you can just charge it up. I have a little battery indicator up there too. Let's try and connect this to my iPhone. After a lot of faffing about, I managed to get it to connect. So if you're not sure how to do it, basically I hit this Bluetooth thing here, made sure my Bluetooth was on on my phone, said link when the iPhone told me to, and then hit this button. It can play music straight from my phone. Let's see. Now you won't have heard that because, well, copyright, whatever, but it actually plays through this. The speaker's just junk, really. You're not gonna be that interested, but it's interesting that you can control it that way. Now, I wanna see if I can use this to skip tracks when it's actually going towards the car. Right, alarm, calendar, doesn't seem to be connected to my phone. Calculator, sleep monitor, drink, sedentary, off and on. Anti-lust, profiles, general silent meeting, power save, pedometer, stopwatch, phone book. Clive Blair, name, number. Right, oh, seems to have lost the screen. There we go. Calling Clive Blair. Clive does not want to answer. Oh, well, that's no good, Clive. Well, it sounds good. For a hands-free, it'll do the job. Let me leave a message. Clive Blair, I'm leaving you a message via my U8 smartwatch connected to the phone and hopefully you can hear this well enough. Give me a text, let me know. In fact, if you get this soon, give me a text and it might pop up on this smartwatch. Take it easy. Well, that was sweet. That worked nicely. That's a very handy feature. What else do we have? Bluetooth power, visibility, device, my name. So you can adjust that there. Dialer, if you get a new number, you can just type that in. Messaging. Inbox, I can't use that. Call logs, dialed calls. Bear in mind there's certain applications that with the iPhone you can't do. I would love to have had that remote capture really, but there you go. So is this a piece of junk or a worthy buy? Well, for £6.20, $9 or so, if you're a geek, if you're a tech fan and you like to find cheapo tech that's quite fun with a bit of capability that's actually not as cheap as it looks this is basically a bargain especially if you have an android phone because you can use a remote capture messaging features but if you're an iphone user such as myself well the music might not bother you too much low volume no one really needs to play it through this I like the dialer, the calls are nice and clear, loud, you can hear them, they're easy to access, easy to use. Battery life remains to be seen because I've just got it but I'm not really that bothered anyway, I can just plug it in USB and charge it up. So is it worth it? Well I think I've already said yes. Go out there, splash out your £6.20, your $9, really there's nothing else to be said but I'll let the watch say it.